Tis I, ladies and lords, Bart Jackson, bringing you today's business quip for the jocularity you so richly deserve. <laughs> I warn you, our train leaves at midnight. Yeah, that's right. Yes, they asked me to, to wait for an applause before I did this, but I, I told them that uh, I just gave them a warning that my train left at midnight. That's where that's going. Each employee in our corporation is a valued and treasured asset until, of course, we can find somebody to replace him at a lower salary. A corporation is an assemblage of men and women who are gathered together to support the words and rectify the actions of their CEO. Think about that one. Opportunity is so often missed because it dresses in overalls and looks like work. Bosses are just like your children. Both require ceaseless care and neither ever let you finish a sentence. Yes, I have a, I have a very good face for radio, is what they tell me. Uh, and uh, The only difference between piracy and taxation is the size of the army that collects it. <laughs> Nothing is less attractive in all business than naked ambition. <laughs> the only thing smaller than my cubicle at work is the apartment I can afford on my salary. <laughs> Nothing brings a husband and wife closer at this time of year than a joint tax return. <laughs> Business decisions are like selecting a spouse. It is better to be right than to be speedy. I wish my boss would stop introducing me as her immediate inferior. Becoming a CEO is less of a learning curve and more akin to stepping off a ledge and being asked to fly. Technology is the process by which Homo sapiens accommodate themselves to tending smaller and smaller devices. <laughs> ah, yes, give a man a fish and he will eat for a day. Teach a man to create an artificial shortage of fish and he'll eat steak for a lifetime. <laughs> Boards of directors are a lot like any other business team. It's just that their suits are much better tailored and they have a lot more money to play with. <laughs> we are awash in leadership seminars. We have been empowered by more inspirational techniques than we can pay for. Now if we could just get some of our employees back to doing some good, honest, hard work. <laughs> I told my wife that I needed a vehicle which would reflect the prestige and drive of my career. <laughs> so for Christmas, she gets me a treadmill. Networking is not a matter of being known. It's a matter of being valued. After all, millions of people know Bernie Madoff. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse mergers are a lot like the elephant who allows himself to be swallowed by a snake so that he may more easily slither into greener pastures. <laughs> Heaven bless the IPO. When it comes to job candidates, everybody has their own questions. The CEO says, can he perform well? The CFO says, can he perform cheaply? The co-workers say, is he a nice guy? Ah, but HR, they say, are his shoes shined? When our board of directors calls the roll, half these guys don't know whether to answer with present or not guilty. <laughs> it was ever thus.
Tis I, Bart Jackson, returning like a seasonal pestilence to bring you the jocularity you deserve. Here are today's business quips. <laughs> At the shareholders' dinner, our CEO rises to the podium, stretches out his arm, points to me, and says, Now here's a man who needs no introduction. And then he sat down. Uh, the trouble with my compensation package is that my board insists on paying me only what I'm worth. Project manager is such a marvelous role. It allows one holding no expertise in a given field to lead those who do. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one comes from Jock Seguela, who has written 18 books on advertising. Don't tell my mother that I, that I work in an advertising agency. She thinks I play piano in a bordello. Marketing is like buying a Lamborghini. You do not ask, how much does it cost? You ask, how beneficial is the ride? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Put a Santa's hat on top of the price, put a sale sign beside it, and you can sell it for any price you want at Yuletide. Uh, this is, there's an investor born every minute. Alas, there is also five funding-starved entrepreneurs born in that exact same period of time. Now, is that bad? In American business, being successful is helpful. Appearing successful is a necessity. Our project manager is a genius at gathering consensus. And this is even more so when you consider how bad are the ideas he's getting us to support. Ah, uh, my boss is great. He encourages, he praises, he adopts my every new idea. I think it's because he never had any of his own. <laughs> Branding without sales is like Dressing up for a date that never comes. You can primp your hair and your logo all you want. It's not going to get in there. This quip is courtesy of Tightwad Tom, whose Edison motion picture industry spiraled into a crater very rapidly. No! Don't put the film actors' names on screen. If people know who they are, the actors will only ask for more money. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and, uh... I know this guy only heard of our company two weeks ago, but he's got two MBAs in, at the age of 24. Surely he knows how to fix our sales problem, right? Mm. I think our work days run longer with this new manager. Or maybe it's just that they seem longer. The feds are assuring us that today the American household is richer than ever before. But the Couch Potatoes Betterment League is assuring us that due to the high rising price of techie toys, every American family is at wit's end of where to find the cash. You can't make this crap stuff up. Somebody did, though. I think that's what makes it so sad. Uh, um, this one comes from a bewildered airline executive. Airport rage is on the rise, and I just can't understand it. We finger them like ripe fruit. We herd them at gunpoint like slaughterhouse cattle. We spend the entire flight trying to extract their very last dime. What more can our customers want? You know... That reminds me of how when I was a young lad, gracious stewardesses would call us as we boarded the airplane, guests. Soon that was downgraded to passengers, and now they call us customers. 
The problem is truth and labeling is not always pretty. <laughs> there are two classes of people. Real people buy items that satisfy some deep inner human craving. Engineers, however, buy items because the technology is really neat. <laughs> Who's ever this? Pyramid reporting models are the quill pens of communication. Both were wonderful ideas whose time has long passed. Hiring and nurturing top talent is very costly and it's really not necessary. Unless, of course, you want to turn a profit or keep a reputation. Our CEO is so out of touch, she calls department heads the rank and file. Vision without execution is hallucination. We had to let that manager go. She kept mistaking texting and emails for work. Investors will gleefully squander a company's time in the righteous cause of protecting their own dime. Oh, heavens yes. Our marketing chief is very well texted. She's just not terribly well read. If you can afford to pay your people what they're worth, you need better people. <laughs> Good day, my lords and ladies. This is Bart Jackson, your humble troubadour from Dunghill Castle, bringing you today's business quips. An entrepreneur is half dreamer, half doer, held together by the duct tape of stress. The economy is not what the economists are telling us it used to be. But then again, it never was. We say it's time to put the United States tax code on a diet. And, and if that doesn't work for its four million words, I suggest we try bypass surgery. The American tax code has more words and more pages than all the Harry Potter books put together with none of their wizardry or charm. If I knew how much money launching this company was gonna cost me, I wouldn't have. And that comes straight from the heart. And that comes straight from the wallet. Son, he told me, the best sales techniques is to cultivate people who care only about price. They are the easiest suckers in town. Giving a man the title of creative director does not make him so. Alas, innovative ideas are no respecters of impressively high rank. 